I don't know if we can see. I, don't know. I think we can see it. I can't see a see if we see it. Oh, anyway, we're going on a camping trip, taking the uh, PRV. What do you think? We're going, where are we going? Barnwell. Barnwell. State, State Park. Park. All right, I gotta pay attention because my hips of the trailer is wide. So we're gonna try this about an hour and away north of us. So we just gotta get that big old trailer. late last night around 9 30 so we got lost in the park uh, looking for the camp RV area and so we waited until morning to set up camp um, I bought this 7 by 16 foot trailer from a friend and uh, and planned on turning it to uh, a camping RV and so we like to call it PRV which stands for pretend RV I pulled the RV with a Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. Uh, I pulled pretty easy. I kept the uh, speed to around 50, 55 miles per hour on average and, and got it about 12 miles per gallon, which wasn't too bad. We'll start in the back with the water and power hookups. and The water setup is just uh, a Camco water filter and a flat water hose. I hooked a 120 volt 15 amp receptacle on the side of the PRV and underneath the trailer just used a simple aluminum trailer jack to stabilize the PRV. Uh, just keep the, the PRV from moving around while you're inside. If you look in the kitchen area, this is pretty much our kitchen setup underneath a pop-up tent. Uh, we have a propane burner, grill, a uh, box with all our kitchen equipment, and then a table that we use for our wash rack, a wash, washing station and uh, a drinking water jug. Uh, just outside the, the PRB we got a, an outside rug so we can take our shoes off before coming inside. Up top here I installed a 12 volt LED light typically made for vehicles but uh, I think works pretty well for a porch light. Up on the top here uh, I hooked in eye hooks to mount a tarp or a rain fly to make a kind of a makeshift awning. Uh, I didn't put one up this trip. Uh, I didn't like how it sagged, so we'll try to redesign a, a different place to, to mount it. But uh, we'll take a look inside. As you can see, I built a top shelf mainly for tools and, and miscellaneous items. Built the countertop, just put everything else on it. Mostly everything will be put away in bins and secured. Uh, I put a, a Toshiba 500, I think 500 BTU ATC unit. Also put here a 3.2 inch cubic foot mini fridge and has a freezer on top. Up above I installed an exhaust fan, helps with some of the air circulation. I built the loft in the back, turns into a sleeping area for the kids when everything's out. Fits a queen size air mattress with no problem. Loft is modular and sits on top of two by fours uh, mounted to the side of the trailer uh, on the trailer studs. Underneath, we decided to go with a, a metal frame futon. Uh, the air mattress didn't work very well, so we'll, we'll look at getting maybe a 5-inch memory phone for the next trip. But uh, that's pretty much it. It's a simple design of, you know, RV camping. Uh, the trailer served for what it was. It, it's a toy hauler and, and, of course, has sleeping arrangements. Um, we don't plan to spend much time inside it, so it just serves its purpose. Uh, for storage and sleeping. Um, we can go more in detail with the trailer build later on. I do have lots of plans, but right now we just want to enjoy the outdoors. And this is our first trip with the PRB at a state park. So we plan on visiting more uh, RV parks in the state of South Carolina. Probably do a more intuitive review. But uh, until next time, just enjoy some of the drone footage and us spending some time on the, on the pond lake thing on some paddle boats, but until next time, see ya.
All right, make sure you don't drop it in the dang water. Neither one of the things. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, I almost lost my cell phone. I probably need to put it in my zipper pocket. <laughs> Good thing American money's water resistant. You know what should have happened? What? One of us with the kid little ones. Feel the burn. No, I all I feel is my legs. Are That's the. Don't no, it'd be fine. We meet. It's four person because you gotta remember I'm heavy. I got an extra eighty pounds. How much you weigh, Ori? Like this. Sucks, and so I would do it, but. I... Is it a bat? Oh, it's a. Is it a bat? It's a bat. You have to go get it. No, it's fine. You'll get out. Just make sure you don't get close to the waterfall. What waterfall? At the end over there is uh -huh. a waterfall. Yeah, it's like a huge waterfall. Don't go near that. Dad! Airplanes. Guys, look, here's a fishing lure. That's not a fishing lure, that's the power line. No. Seriously, look, there's a bobber. Oh, yeah, it is. What's wrong, Trista? You can't pedal. No, is your legs too little? Actually, yeah. What? You have strong leg muscles. What's Fun, Trista. Did you like paddling? Pedaling? Pedal boating? Ori, did you like pedal boating? My legs hurt. Your legs hurt from what? You didn't do anything. M.A.? My legs hurt. What? It was fun though. Burning pancakes. Burning pancakes. Pancakes. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. You like uh, trailer camping? Yeah, you want you wanna do this again? Why? It gets really cold. Well, when it's warmer outside, it's probably better. Yeah. Cool. Alright, this is the loop around. Post. What is a camp post? He's the guy who makes sure everything is. That's a, that's a crappy job. <laughs> what is? The messing with the sewage line. Messing with the sewage line is a crappy job. Get it? Uh huh. Crappy job. <laughs>